Hello everyone, it's Mr. Andre, and I'm here in the library at House Bytown English. Our story for today is Diary of a Spider, written by Doreen Cronin and illustrated by Harry Bliss. This is the diary of a spider. But don't be worried, he's more scared of you and your gigantic shoe. Let's read this wonderful story together. Diary of a Spider Written by Doreen Cronin Illustrated by Harry Bliss Read by Mr. Andre March 1st Today was Grandparents' Day at school, so I brought Grandpa with me. He taught us three things. Number one, spiders are not insects. Insects have six legs. Number two, without spiders, insects could take over the world. And number three, butterflies taste better with a little barbecue sauce. March 16th. Grandpa says that in his day, flies and spiders did not get along. Things are different now. This is awesome! March 29th. Today in gym class, we learned how to catch the wind so we could travel to faraway places. Next! When I got home, I made up flashcards so I could practice. Number one, climb high. Number two, release silk. And number three, catch wind. Fly made up her own flashcard. I'm starting to see why Grandpa doesn't like her. Number one, fly. April 1st. I went to the park with my sister today. We tried the seesaw. It didn't work. We tried the tire swing. It didn't work. We spun a huge sticky web on the water fountain. That worked. Eek! April 12th. Today was safety day at school. We learned that vacuums eat spider webs and are very, very dangerous. If we hear a vacuum, we should stop, drop, and run. Stop what we're doing, drop from the web, run like crazy. April 13th. We had a vacuum drill today. I stopped what I was doing, forgot where I was going, and ran screaming from the room. We're having another drill tomorrow. April 17th. I'm sleeping over at Worm's house tonight. I hope they don't have leaves and rotten tomatoes for dinner again. May 7th. Mom said I was getting too big for my own skin, so I molted. That is so gross! May 8th. Today was show and tell, so I brought in my old skin. My teacher called on it to lead the Pledge of Allegiance. You there! Why don't you get us started? June 5th. Daddy Longlegs made fun of Fly because she eats with her feet. Now she won't come out of her treehouse. I'm going to find him and give him a piece of my mind. June 6th. I found Daddy Longlegs. He's a lot bigger than I thought he was. I gave him a piece of my lunch instead. June 7th. Fly's treehouse blew away in the wind today. So did Grandpa. June 18th. I got a postcard from Grandpa today. Dear Spider, Ooh la la, I landed in Paris. French bugs are delicious. Au revoir, Grandpa. Leg of French gnat. Give it a try. 
June 30th. Grandpa came home today. I couldn't wait to hear about how he rode the winds all the way over the ocean. Turns out he caught a breeze to the airport and napped in first class. July 2nd. Fly came over to play today. She got stuck in our web and her mom had to come get her. Grandpa laughed a little too hard. From now on, we have to play at Fly's house. Hi, Mom! July 9th. Today was my birthday. Grandpa decided I was old enough to know the secret to a long, happy life. Never fall asleep in a shoe. July 16th. Things I scare. Number one, Fly's mom. It wasn't his fault, mom. Number two, tiny bugs. And number three, people using water fountains at the park. July 17th, things that scare me. Number one, daddy long legs. Number two, vacuums. And number three, people with big feet. No! August 1st. I wish that people wouldn't judge all spiders based on the few spiders that bite. I know if we took the time to get to know each other, we would get along just fine. Just like me and Fly. The end. This has been a reading for House by Town English, read by Mr. Andre.